Good afternoon, guys. I am so sorry that I'm late. This is Watchwoman 65, Lisa Boyce. We have a statewide internet outage here. So we hooked up Wi-Fi while this out. It's going to be out for a while. So in the meantime, this is why it took me so long to come on. I apologize. Uh, I'm going to give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ shed his blood for all. All of our sins, past, present, and future, was buried and rose again on the third day. We are saved by grace through faith in Christ alone, not of ourselves, not of works. Least any man should boast. Excuse me, it is grace. Something we didn't earn, something we don't deserve, that God gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe in him will not perish but have eternal life how do you come to that you admit you're a sinner in need of christ the moment you put your faith and trust in christ jesus the moment you accept him as savior not only are you saved but you are justified by the blood of jesus rapture ready and sealed until the day of redemption which means you will not and cannot lose your salvation you're sealed until the day of redemption. Um, I have my meow hat on today because I'm cold. Um, very cold. The Holy Spirit will indwell in you. The Holy Spirit will guide you, lead you. The Holy Spirit is your best friend. And the Holy Spirit will change you. Period. That's the gospel right there. I have quite a bit of news coming out. And I should have did this earlier. I tried to, but I couldn't. Um, rail strike, unfortunately, has escalated. This was off of Fox this morning. And it says that the um, International Brotherhood announced Monday that... Um, its members voted against ratifying a tentative agreement with the major freights, railroads, making uh, the IBB, which is the International Brotherhood of Boilermakers, the third labor group to turn down the deal um, brokered by the Biden administration and upping the chances of a nationwide strike. Tell me they didn't pick a better time. Right at the holidays. Tell me that even pick a better time. Because if they go on strike, and I said this before, if they go on strike, things are going to be shut down. It's just no doubt about it. Think that the, if the railroads go on strike, because the railroads bring in supplies, especially coal, for heating, then, and the trucks supply that. So with the diesel fuel going up and the, a chance of the railroads going on strike, yeah, this, this is not good. This is not good at all. So the IBB, again, the International Brotherhood of uh, Boilermakers, said in a statement that it has now entered a cooling off period and plans to continue to negotiate further with the National Carriers Conference Committee which represents the nation's largest railroads, including BNSF, CS, uh, CSX, Norfolk Southern, and Union Pacific. Those are the major railways. The IBB joined the Brotherhood of Railroad uh, Signalmen and the Brotherhood of Maintenance of Way Employees Division of the International Brotherhood of Teamsters. This is a strong union, very strong union in rejecting the proposed contracts providing rail workers 24% wage increase during a five-year period from 2020 to 2024. Um, the union rail workers, uh, workers opposed to the tentative agreement negotiated by Biden's Presidential Emergency Board are unhappy that the deal did not do more to address quality of life issues, particularly a lack of sick time and working on skeleton crews. Multiple union members told Fox Business they are frustrated with the union representatives signed uh, sign off on the PEB's recommendations back in September, arguing uh, the agreement did not do enough to improve working conditions. And I, can, I got it from a reliable 
source, this is bad. There have been at least five workers killed because they're short staff. That job is dangerous. Very, very dangerous. All 12 unions involved in the negotiations must agree. They all have to agree together to ratify their new contracts or a strike will take place. Devastating supply chains in the country, the economy at large costing an estimated $2 billion a day. Congress is expected to get involved if, the wor if a work stoppage is triggered. But multiple unions have agreed to continue negotiating into early December. So far, seven unions have voted to ratify their contracts and now three have voted against it. The remaining two unions, uh, unions ratification votes count as slated to be announced next week. So this, this is beyond bad. I'm telling you, if <laughs> God help us. Not to mention FedEx. And this just came out also. FedEx Freight to begin driver furlough next month. Next month. They're going to do driver furlough. So FedEx Freight, the less than truckload arm of FedEx Corporation and nation's largest uh, LTL carrier said Saturday it will furlough an undetermined number of drivers starting early December. The furloughs are scheduled to last about 90 days during which time affected workers will continue to receive health benefits and will be allowed to file for unemployment benefits in their prospective states of residence. Some eligible employees will be offered permanent transfer opportunities to make uh, to other markets that have hiring needs, the unit said in a statement. Could it be diesel? Could it be everything that's going on? I don't know. I don't know. Because of our previous experience with furlough and with this incentives we are offering, we are expecting employees to volunteer to meet the business need, Yarborough said in an um, email. The unit employs 45,000 people. It was not immediately clear how many drivers it uh, employs. So FedEx Freight has been the best performer of FedEx. Three transport units is two larger units. FedEx Express, FedEx Ground have been hurt by high costs and slower than expected demand. Let's go back to the railroads. Let's go back to the trucking. Let's go back to everything, the cargo, everything. FedEx Freight, by contrast, is focused on profitable growth and has been willing to shed unprofitable tonnage to achieve their goal. Things are not good. Then I just got this off of War News. It says, Ex event with global ramifications, German authorities expect. They're telling their German, I guess this is in Germany, to have cash at home. Emergency plans with capital control. So this is contingency plans to ensure German ATMs do not run out of cash in the event of a power blo uh, blackout are being worked out by Germany. According to an exclusive Reuters report, Germany authorities are stepping up preparations for emergency cash deliveries in the event of a blackout to keep the economy running, sources told Reuters. Germany is bracing for possible blackouts resulting from the war in Ukraine. The preparations are not so much about the lack of energy, but about the possibility of an extremely important event taking place that will have global ramifications the plans for the uh, Bundesbank or Bundesbank 
Germany's central bank, to raise billions more to deal with raising a rising demand and possible limits on withdrawal, one of the sources said. Officials and banks are also looking at distribution, discussing, for example, priority access to fuel for cash carriers. So discussions on a contingency plans involve the central bank, financial market regulator uh, Buffin, and several financial industry uh, associations, according to Reuters. The issue to access to cash is one of the issues the German government is considering in the event of a blackout in the near future. Although Germany authorities have publicly downplayed such a possibility, according to Reuters, discussions are taking place and countermeasures are being developed, which shows how seriously the threat is being taken. Now, let me let me remind you of something. This article said global. This is a global wide problem. Globally. It is also becoming apparent that efforts are being made to ensure that the state machinery is prepared for power outages that may be caused by soaring energy costs or even sabotage. They also highlight the widening implications of the war in Ukraine for Germany, which for decades relied on affordable Russian energy and now faces double digit inflation and the threat of disruption from fuel and energy shortages. Again, they said global, not just Germany. A particular concern seems to be banking sector and whether unhindered access to cash will be possible. Now keep in mind, if there's a blackout anywhere, nothing is accessible. And I don't even know what your money would do, how money would do any good at that point. Because you can't, what are you going to do? Mm. Banks consider a complete blackout unlikely, according to the Deutsche uh, Bank, the financial sector's umbrella organization. However, the banks are in touch with relevant ministries and authorities to plan for such a scenario. If they're talking about it, something's going to happen. I'm going to link all of this in the description box. Um, like I said, I'm running on Wi-Fi right now, and T-Mobile's pretty good because we uh, they give you extra hotspots, and that's what we're running on right now is a hotspot. So hopefully, I'll be back later. With well, I'll be back later regardless, but. Um, with the network running up better. I don't know how this is going to come through or anything like that, but again, uh, sorry I was late uh, and this is why. So I will be back later with more. Um, I'm getting news coming in. I, all of a sudden, as soon as it came back, as soon as I connected to the hotspot, everything started coming in at one time. So I'll be back shortly uh, to give you more. Thank you.